This is Brooks's third time he's been diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. He had it back in 2009, then it came back in 2012, but the chemo hasn't been fixing it. I may be one of those that Bobby doesn't respond to chemo, so I'm pretty excited about him taking on my case, and, and uh, you know, I'm tired of feeling yucky. Right. I don't know, here's the thing. Maybe I'm picking up on the energy of people who think about that. I have a wishy-washy perspective on that. On what? So that's why, on, on the, the cancer issue, it's just wishy-washy to me. I just don't see it. So he doesn't have cancer? It's, it's very possible. You don't see cancer at all? Uh, I don't know. I can't imagine someone would do that. Who would fake cancer? I just don't have a place in my brain for that concept. Why would somebody do that? Why wouldn't you Keep pursue your... the most aggressive form of treatment in order to live? But well, what it's is the most aggressive form of treatment? Do you really, treatment? really think he wants to die, Megan? Are you being Why that, does he stop are you being that ignorant? Chemo is not a secret. Cancer treatments are not a secret. You talk about them. So by her just saying, you don't care about him, that's a deflection. She's trying to get me to respond now on a totally different subject so that I look like the bad person. And when she looks across me and goes, what are you going to do if he dies? Well, you know what? I would be one sorry, lonely person because he's my best friend. How dare her question I, I, his health care? It's disgusting to me. I don't want anything to do with her. I don't want to see her ever again. If he has cancer yeah. again, I'll take I you down. He, I just want him to kick this. Okay? Yeah. And there is no medical evidence yeah. at all that resveratrol does anything. But that's what he's choosing anything. to do, Megan. Did you do so research you on it? You're, not gonna, but, but You're not gonna get involved in it. But You're not gonna get involved in it. Shut up. You don't even want to go there. Down. You don't even want to go there with You're me. You're just an old woman who's pissed off and bitter okay, at the world, you know so what? you and shut old. up. I'm hearing things that you're sharing with other people. I'm trying to figure out what your motivation is by sharing things about a psychic that I don't have cancer on, faking cancer, my treatment alternative, and I'm trying to figure out what your motivation is. I'm hearing things that you reached out to an ex-girlfriend last night. It breaches my boundaries by reaching out to people from my past, quite frankly, and it's odd to me that you're gonna take something from a blog and reach out to somebody. It's kinda of nuts. The fact that Megan reached out to an ex-girlfriend, stalkerish, like, what do I have to do, get a restraining her against this girl? Why are you I reaching think... out to his ex-girlfriend? Jim, do you think that's odd? I, I don't really know what's of going on. Of course it's odd, part. she reached out to his ex-girlfriend. Don't contact and, and, people and, in my past. My family, I mean, I'm, I'm worried you're gonna contact my kids on Twitter and my, just my like parents leave them alone. to find out. That's crazy. What do you wanna know? I haven't been the only one asking questions. I'm trying to process all this. If I even question Vicky and ask her, does Brooks really have cancer? She's gonna freak out. So I don't know what to do. Do you Yeah. Oh, God. She makes, my, she makes my ass tired. What? She makes her ass tired? I um, straight up asked Brooks, I was like, because um, we were talking about like my marriage and how I, my marriage was attacked and why the hell would that happen? Like, And then I said, wait a minute, Brooks, like, I just have to ask you this. Did you tell Tamara that we were, that you told Jimmy at the hockey game we were married for, for four months and only two of them had been good? He said, no, never said that. Consider your source. I go, what do you mean by that? And he goes, it wasn't me that said that. Brooke said, consider your source. Yeah, and I, but I said, okay, what does that mean? Listen, wait, 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 You have to stop. What's happened? You have to stop. Why? Because I'm asking you to. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. All these girls are talking about it. I'm keeping my mouth shut, and then he goes after me? Game on, dude. Where's Brooks? It wasn't, it wasn't Brooks. Where's me. Brooks? It was, but, hey, don't do that. No, me. where's Brooks? Was, oh, I've been that. his only supporter it here. It was me that Consider said it to you. Consider the source. It was me that said it. I, I, I totally agree with that. It was me that said it to you, not Brooks. I understand that. Babe, I talked to Tamara. I apologized for leaving her party because I was mad at you. I thought you were standing up for Vicky when really you were just trying to defuse the situation. Everybody needs to stay quiet okay. while we go through this. I got you. I never asked for anything. Your wife. I, know, she, I think she's her. overstepping her boundaries, but she's trying to help. Sorry about pulling you in again. It's all right. Can we go in the other room? Sure. I'm having all this weird stuff going on. I don't know what's going on. Vicky is clearly angry and she's upset. 
and she's placing all of it towards Tamara and Megan. And the truth is, we are all having the same conversations about Brooks and his health, and she needs to know. Can we cut the cake? Aries people, or are we just going to throw it in the pool? Just a minute. We're going to throw it in the pool, in the pool no. and get it It's a perfectly good cake. What is going on? I have always been a supporter of Brooks. There has been conversations about Brooks' treatment and why won't he talk about it and why is this and that and the other thing. I cannot speak for any of these mm -hmm. women. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be in a whole big mm -hmm. gang up conspiracy yeah, thing, like... but I have talked about Brooks. I'm going to tell you why. When we were at Cut Fitness that day and said who his doctor was. I'm taking a new blast of antioxidants. It's a pretty cool story. You might know this doctor. He refers people to Terry sometimes. Because I got treated by that doctor. I know this doctor. I went to this doctor for cellulite treatments right after the twins were born. Here are all my thought processes. Number one, is Brooks being duped? Because I'm sorry, you don't go from like trying to cure cellulite to curing cancer. All right, so part of the treatment will be nutrition. We have to replenish all these nutrients that you've been missing for a long time. The second problem is that we have to remove stress. Unfortunately- Sorry, sorry, I try to be not stressful. It's not me, it's all the people I hang around with. They're accusing Brooks of faking cancer. It's very clear about what you have. It's really showing that you have a large mass in there. And unless someone faked this, but this doesn't lie. The fact that these women are doubting my illness absolutely pisses me off. Somebody walks around and says, oh, you don't have that. I don't think you have that because I don't know and understand why you're doing what you're doing. And the reality is, these women don't know crap about my particular disease. So we're going to give you an IV today to oxygenate your blood. We get blood, we oxygenate it, transfuse it back to you. It goes into your system and start oxygenating your tissues and then uh, allows the body to start repairing. Okay, so let's get that IV started. Let's I gotta get, get to IV. work. Let's okay. do it. When people question my treatment options, what do I say to them? you. Why don't you just show everybody, honestly? Uh, well, Why, I mean, if it was me, I would be like, not me. I'm supporting and surprising him that he's even doing that with you. It's a very serious disease he has. He's got cancer, so be my friend. If it comes up, you stand with conviction. Ladies, we're done. This is so difficult because I want to support Vicky, and I want nothing more than to go back to these girls and say, you know what? He does have cancer, but. I really can't because I don't know what I read. And I asked them, do you do PET scans? They said no. You called them? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. When Vicky said that Brooks got a PET CT scan from Newport Imaging, I called and they said they stopped doing PET scans for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in 2008. And then I called again and I said, do you do PET or CT or PET slash CT scans for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma? I straight up asked that. And they said, no, we will refer you to Hogue. You need to go to the hospital to get that. Wow. I am I am blown away. I'm freaking blown away. She's doing some research, clearly. A lot of research. It's like, wow, you're getting some information that's not adding up. So I, I don't, it's all, it's all just a big old ball of a mess. This has never called me feeling sick. It's just. It's a bald-faced lie. I heard it. I've heard that same story. When Brooks had his first chemotherapy treatment at the end of October, Vicky told me the same story. It's just so weird to me that you would lie about something that's so traceable. But the thing is, the thing is, okay, even if there is some semblance of truth no, no, wait, to this whole question? question. Yes, yes. Why is she covering for him? Do you know what I think? If you have an inability to work, you do not have to pay child support. He has four children and he hasn't had a good reputation. So what better way to get sympathy and have everybody love him? Well, I'm being nailed to the cross like Jesus was, and he did nothing wrong. He's Jesus Christ and he did nothing wrong. He was nailed to the cross. That's how I feel. Well, you're not Jesus and you're not being nailed to any cross. But you could be going to hell if you're lying.